Today, we will see how we could use expression languages such as JavaScript, PowerFX, and other expression languages inside of DMN. Hi, my name is Matteo. Today's video is a bit different than usual. This is about an experimental feature, so this is going to be a short video, and the reason for the helmet is indeed to remind that this is an exploration of an experimental feature. As usual, I like to have a base and running example. So today we're going to focus on the calculation of the BMI body mass index. You can find some details in the Wikipedia page, but it is a very simple formula and then it classifies the result accordingly to a decision table. So this sounds a great fit for DMN. I've already prepared a DMN model that takes the two required input data mass per the formula and this is a number as we would expect, and the height per the formula, and this is also a number as we would expect. I've also already prepared the decision table that uh, corresponds to the decision table that you see on the Wikipedia page. I've simplified uh, a little bit because anyway, for the purpose of this example. So up to here is the usual and standard way that we do things with DMN. Now it comes the kicker. So in the case of the calculation of the BMI, we might want to be using a different expression language than the default one. So let's see how we can do that. Let's say that we want to start with using PowerFX in order to calculate the BMI. So here I've prepared the editor. And as you can see, it is about the representation for the formula in the calculate BMI decision. So what we want to set out to do is to replicate this formula using PowerFX. So we start with the mass and then we need to divide it by the height to the power of 2. So in PowerFX, uh, yeah, we have the power. We need to supply the base, which is height, uh, to the exponent 2 that you can see here. And then because we're going to use the North American unit of measures, we need to multiply it uh, by 703. And so this is the, the calculation of the BMI that we want in our decision using PowerFX. So as you can see here, this is the formula in the PowerFX. So now we can uh, directly start uh, this uh, the evaluation of the MN model and we're going to see it uh, running with the, we're going to use the standard Swagger UI. Here I've started the application, a Cogito based on Quarkus application containing the DMN model, and we can start to exercise the rest endpoint for this model. So demo BMI power FX, and we can use some example values. So let's say that uh, for the heat, we're going to supply 72 inches, and the mass, the moment that I calculate this, I get a BMI of uh, 24 which indeed it is in the normal range, as you can see. So what has been happening is that in the DMN model, the, this literal expression has been evaluated using the PowerFX formula. And uh, this is indeed the, the syntax of PowerFX. However, the decision table in this case has been using the standard default method and expressions that uh, you are normally accustomed to. So there are a mix of two expression languages here. PowerFX is used, let's say, for the formula, simply because this is what the modeler, in this case myself, had deemed more convenient. And then instead the decision table, I've used the usual and standard paradigm. Also, please notice that the expression language is populated in, the, in this field here for the purpose of the demo, but also in the underlying XML. If I go and uh, see it as a text editor, as you can see, we are using the standard XML um, interchange format of uh, DMN, and we are specifying the expression language in the proper uh, attribute. Now, this is experimental, so again, this works as part of this experimental feature. Again, similarly, we can think about uh, in doing the same uh, with uh, using uh, JavaScript. So in this model is exactly the same, except that for the uh, formula, again, I've used uh, JavaScript in this case, as you can see here. 
and the formula is slightly different is simply using the the function the standard base library of javascript and the javascript syntax as you would expect so to demonstrate this we can go back and see that indeed we had also the rest endpoint for the bmijs model which is uh, this one and again we can try it out so if we give it a hit of 72 uh, with a mass 480 then again we get uh, the, the result in the BMI calculation and then again the decision table is applying as expected so to recap this is a way that uh, you can use the power of the extensibility of DMN that provides you a way to use potentially different type of expression languages in order to invoke uh, specialized formulas that you could do as the helmet remind you this is an experimental feature so we invite you to check it out if you're interested and to explore it further comments are more than welcome and as usual if you find this video interesting i kindly invite you to subscribe comment below leave a like this is really help the algorithm and it's more to reach out to potential interested other users to see this video i will be happy uh, to hear your comment and with this Thank you for the attention, I hope this was interesting, and to the next one.